Tag Manager is a standalone free tracking tool and management platform that allows its user to add snippets to their website, marketing tags, and collect marketing data. Google Tag Manager has helped a lot of online marketers in making their life easier. So, Google Tag Manager lets you manage various JavaScript tracking codes, which is also known as tags on your website, and Google Analytics tracking code is one of those tags. Google Analytics, on the other hand, is a reporting tool that analyzes your website activity. Since Google Tag Manager has no reporting feature, it's used to send data from your website to other marketing or analytics tool, including Google Analytics. Both work together and we will walk you through and how to set this up on your Shopify website, since we also now have Google Analytics 4. Before we start, Make sure that you're using Google Chrome as your web browser because it'll sync all of your accounts and we will also be using Google Chrome extension to verify our installation. Make sure that you're also logged in to the correct Google account. Access your Shopify admin by going to www.shopify.com. What we need to do next is to set up your Google Tag Manager. You can access Google Tag Manager at tagmanager.google.com. It will automatically log you in to your Google account. We're going to set up our first Google Tag Manager account. Click on the Create Account button or in the white space to start creating your account. Enter your company name, indicate the country and put a check on the shared data anonymously with Google and others. On the container setup, type in your website address on the field and choose the target platform. Since we're just using a website, then we will be selecting web then click the Create button. Agree to all of the Terms of Service agreement. You now have the Google Tag Manager snippets. What we just need to do is to add the snippets to your Shopify website. To view your GTM snippet, you can also click your GTM number or GTM ID located on top. Now, if you're not into coding, then don't worry, we're the same. But seriously, we can install the snippets without any knowledge of coding. The top snippet is for the head tag, and the bottom snippet is for the body tag. Let's start with the head snippet. Click the copy icon on the top snippet to copy it. Go back to your Shopify admin, and on the sales channel, click online store. Under themes, click the actions drop down and select edit code. On the left side, look for theme.liquid on the list and click it. Now, what we're going to look is for the head tag, which is just mostly located on top. Place your cursor after the head tag and press enter. Just put a space for Google Tag Manager and paste the snippet that you have just copied earlier. Go back to your Google Tag Manager and click the copy icon of the bottom snippet. Then, go back to your Shopify. Now, what we need to look is for the body tag. In most cases, it is just 
after the closing head tag. So next to this closing head tag is the long opening body tag. Just right below it, just press enter and put a space and paste the bottom code that you just copied. Then click save. At this point, your Google Tag Manager is already installed in all of your pages. Now, what we need to do is to set up your Google Analytics on where the Google Tag Manager sends its data that's collected on your website. Click Preferences and scroll down to the Google Analytics section. As of now, it's empty and we need to have a universal Google Analytics 4 number that will link to your account. Go to analytics.google.com As you can see, we don't have any data that's streaming yet since there's no account link to this Google Analytics yet. Let's create a new account and a new property. Click Admin at the bottom left side of your Google Analytics dashboard. On the next page, click Create Account. On your account setup, enter the account name on the account data sharing settings. Make sure that you put a check on the Google products and services and all the other items in there. Then click next. Next is with property setup. Enter your property name and indicate the time zone and the currency that you'll be using. Click the Show Advanced option to expand it and make sure that you enable the switch for creating a universal analytics property. Enter your website URL without the HTTPS because it's already indicated and make sure that you have selected the Create both a Google Analytics 4 and a universal analytics property. Make sure that you also enable the enable measurement for Google Analytics 4 property, then click next. The last one is about your business. Just indicate your industry and the business size. Also, check your intentions in using Google Analytics. Just Check all that applies to your business and click the Create button at the bottom. Agree to all of the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. You now have the Google Analytics account. What we need to do next is to install the global site tag to your Shopify website. Under Tagging Instructions, expand the global site tag and it should show you the code that you need to install. Copy it by just clicking the copy icon on the right. Then go back to your Shopify admin and edit the code on your Shopify theme. Again, make sure that you're on the Shopify theme.liquid file. Look for the opening head tag and just right below it, press enter to put a space, then paste the global site tag and click save. Now let's close the web stream details and just go to Google Analytics main dashboard. So as you can see, there's no data. 
since we haven't accessed the Shopify website. Now, let's close our website window and access the website again. Let's try to add something to our cart. You can now go back to your Google Analytics and you should see the data streaming. On the right side, you should see that the user that's accessing the website. It should show one users in the last 30 minutes. And you could also see the country and where that user is from. Since we just accessed it and added something to cart. It should continue to stream until you uninstall the code or close your website. Now, let's install the Google Tag Manager on the preferences to make sure that it's going to be sending data to your Google Analytics account. Go back to Shopify and click Online Store, then go to Preferences. Go to the Google Analytics section. Now, let's look for the UA number or the Universal Analytics ID number. Go back to your Google Analytics and click Admin at the bottom left. Under the Property column, click Data Streams and select your website on the list and we're back to the web stream details. Scroll down to the additional settings and click the connected site tags. Copy the Universal Analytics ID and paste it on the Google Analytics field on your Shopify online store preferences. then save your changes. What we need to do next is to add the Google Tag Manager on the custom Java script. Just click the Add Custom Java Script to enable the field. Go back to your Google Tag Manager and access the tag by clicking the GTM ID on top. Copy the code and paste it on the JavaScript field of Google Analytics then save your changes. The next thing that we need to do is to publish the container so Google Tag Manager will start sending data to your Google Analytics. Go back to your Google Tag Manager and close to the snippet window. As you can see that nothing yet is published on the green section of the main dashboard. Click the submit button located at the top right of the page. Indicate this version name and just click publish. You should see that it is now live version on the green section. This means that it's already sending data. Now, the last thing that we'll be doing is just to verify that the Google Tag Manager is really installed and is sending data to the correct Google Analytics account. As what I said on the first part of this tutorial, we will be using a Google Chrome extension. So please open a new tab and search for Google Tag Manager extension. The first link should be the Tag Assistant Legacy by Google. This is one made by Google for this integration. So just add this extension to your Google Chrome browser. Make sure that you pin the extension to your top panel. Go back to your Shopify website and click the Tag Assistant Legacy by Google in the pinned extension 
and enable it. So after it's enabled, it will start analyzing the pages of the current tab. Just refresh the page and it should give you the results. As you can see, the first and the second item is on the global site tag and it contained the measurement ID and the universal analytics ID. This is what we installed in the Shopify theme.liquid. We also have the universal analytics on our third item. This is what we did on the preferences section of your online store. It also detected the Google Tag Manager and it has the same ID with what we have. This meant that we successfully installed our Google Tag Manager and we have set up our Google Analytics 4 correctly on our Shopify website. When your visitor comes in, your Google Analytics will keep populating with data of your consumer's activity. So that is how you set up Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify website. Till the next tutorial. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.